So, me and my buddy RJ, uh, when he was in town about a little bit ago, a few days ago, I don't know, but we went to explore this abandoned warehouse kind of place, and there's a pretty crazy story that I want you guys to hear behind it. So, I'm going to play a few clips of when we were exploring that, and then I'm going to tell you uh, exactly what happened in the story behind it. So, play the clips. Yeah. Is that a <laughs> you fucking heard that, right? No, I didn't. <laughs> Damn, look at this place. This is fucked. And back there's the deep, creepy hallway. Uh, we're going up the stairs. Oh man. Ooh, what the fuck? Let's see what's up here. The room. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at all this space, man. Made it upstairs. RJ's just screwing around in the bathroom. Oh. What? Oh. Beagle matter. Oh, look in that toilet. Oh, that's good. Yeah, look in that one. <laughs> Here with RJ. Here go, His first bro. day back in London. We conquered this abandoned building. You got the fucking right to be inside. <laughs> you need to fucking open this door now. We're gonna kick it in. <laughs> you actually got it. No way, man. That's I hilarious. Want to fucking do that. Let's see what's in here. Nothing. Oh wow, it didn't connect. Yeah, it did. Oh wait, yeah, it did. Okay, interesting. Friggin' A. Roof of the abandoned building, baby. Nice view. <laughs> so as you guys just saw, uh, me and RJ, we went into this abandoned place, this abandoned warehouse type uh, place. There was a basement, there was a second floor. It was a huge, huge, huge location. We didn't explore every single room because a few of the rooms on the main floor especially were really just littered in garbage and neither me or RJ really wanted to go in there. But yeah, we, we spent a good hour and a half exploring the place, being very cautious, of course, of any homeless people um, that might have attacked us or any maybe drugs or any illegal things that we found there. But um, yeah, it was all well and good. No one was there. We didn't really find anything that weird except for this uh, board with some inappropriate pictures on them. And um, so this is this is basically the reason I'm making this video. Me and RJ were gonna go back there yesterday and make another little video. He wanted to make a video for his YouTube channel, which I will leave the link to the description of in the, uh, uh not the, in the, uh, I cannot talk. I will leave the link to his channel in the description below. Um, I believe he should be posting his first video kind of soon, um, but I don't exactly know when he will be doing that. But link in the description will be, uh, link in the description, go go subscribe to him because he's awesome, I love RJ, and um, yeah, so we went there, and uh, the place was burnt down, and it turns out that just a couple days after we explored that place, it was burnt to the ground, so uh, I really don't know what to feel about this, I mean, I can tell you guys right now, it was not me and RJ, we did not have any lighters or flammable substances on us that we could have done, we didn't drop anything we didn't do anything um we just had a couple of sticks in our hands to defend ourselves in case anything did happen but that's about it so um yeah i i really um i really don't know what to feel about it but um i also want to play you guys a ctv news report so i'm going to do that right now fire is out but the work is still underway to determine what caused a massive blaze at a vacant building in south london Huge plumes of smoke billowed into the sky for many hours, prompting air quality warnings for people living in the area. With the latest on the investigation, here's CTV's Nick Paparella. Within hours of getting the blaze under control, work crews were busy tearing down the hollow shell of a building that was left on Center Street just west of Warncliffe Road South. It was just after the dinner hour on Tuesday night that flames erupted in the abandoned and condemned building, which used to be home to a transport business in the 70s, and more recently, a moving company and karate school. We're going to be working closely with LPS to uh, hopefully find uh, a cause and origin of this uh, large fire that occurred last night. 
At the height of the blaze, the smoke here was so thick and heavy that the city sent out a warning to area residents within a one kilometer radius to shut their windows and doors. Uh, there was some uh, uh, smoke behind us that uh, was off gassing uh, and uh, just concerned a vacant building, uh, the unknown chemicals that still could be stored there. Our fire prevention inspectors do make a, a note of items here, however it could change. And uh, as a precaution, we sent out that alert. I looked out the window and all of a sudden I seen fire and smoke. Don Parkin is one of those who lives nearby. A neighbor called and she got a, a message on her phone stating that close your windows, turn off your ACs because the smoke could be uh, affecting your area. There were no report of injuries. The London Fire Department believes the abandoned building was being used by people looking for shelter. But that won't be the case anymore as they tear it down and continue to look for a cause. And when I say uh, dismantle a building, it's going to be a systematic dismantle uh, in conjunction with our partners to be able to uh, look for evidence and to be able to make the scene safe. Nick Paparella, CTV News. So yeah, there's a CTV News report. Um, if, if anyone watches this video like if anyone at ctv or whatever watches this video or the fire department or the police in london i don't care or if they um report it to the police or whatever i don't care i'm i would be happy to talk to the news and i would be happy to talk to the fire department and whatever on what me and rj saw in there something that could have caused the fire because it was an accidental fire um the fire department or the police they didn't this was not a planned demolition this was a total accident and there were a lot of things me and RJ saw in there that could have led to this fire, especially the basement area. I think the basement area was easily the most flammable place. There was so much wood down there, like a, a bunch of wood, wood planks, um, wood scraps, all of that. There was a bunch of magazines and paper down there as well, old files, that kind of thing. I couldn't record the basement, uh, the basement because it was just so dark and... I wasn't able to get any footage, but um, there's a lot of flammable stuff, and me and RJ do believe there was someone living in the basement as well. We went into a room, there was a, a couch, and there was stuff um, that was pretty new looking, and um, it was it was set up and it was clean, so we do believe someone was sleeping down there um, in the mold as well, which is definitely not good. Um, me and RJ had masks on in the mold as well, exploring the basement. Um, we also believe there is someone living in another room, kind of on the left side of the factory. Um, there was a mattress in there, a really dirty area, but I, we do believe someone was sleeping in there as well. Um, and those are really the two two main th things that we saw with people living there. Um, so uh, I would say that there's probably two confirmed people living there. And I'm going to say right now that probably the fire came from the basement. I, I just don't see any other, I mean, I see other possibilities, but I do think that the most realistic and the easiest possibility to come to is a, is from the basement. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to make this video because I thought that it's so wild that me and RJ, we go and explore that place and, you know, awesome location to explore. Definitely wanted to come back two days after, two days after we're done exploring that place, um, it's burnt to the ground and I really don't know how to feel about it. Um, but it is what it is. Um, unfortunately, uh, people lost their homes there. Um, and <laughs> me and RJ lost a place to explore. So thank you all so much for watching this video. And, um, yeah, it, it's just a really crazy kind of uh, event that happened, but nothing I can do and there's nothing that anyone else can do. So I'll see you guys, uh, next time and yeah, catch you later. Peace.